download Windows 10 ISO file to burn it later on a DVD or on a CD or even on a USB key or flash drive you will have to go to your browser any browser will work for it you go to your search tab and you type Windows 10 download you press enter you open the first link download Windows 10 disk image ISO file Microsoft make sure that you are selecting www.microsoft.com because this is the official website and the download will be without any viruses so we'll just click on it you will find the link below the video you will have to wait a few seconds until it appears so here you have the option to either make the update since it's available or create Windows 10 installation media which can be a DVD or a USB flash drive so we'll just click download tool now we will save the file we will click to open it and you will be prompt to accept on a Windows computer to allow it to run so you will just click yes and allow it to run you will have to wait a few seconds and then a small window will appear as you can see in my screen it might take a few moments from Windows to get few things ready before you get prompted and request to select the option so you will have just to be patient and to wait a few moments as you can see this is the license agreement or license terms so you will have just to go through it and read it and if you accept everything in it you can just click accept be careful if you click then decline then you will not be receiving the ISO file and you will not be able to download it so personally I just click accept and wait again for a few moments just the times that few things get ready and usually it takes up to one or two minutes maximum now you are being asked what do you want to do so here the first option is to make the upgrade this PC now which will make an upgrade to your computer straight and here we have the second option which is create installation media USB flash drive DVD or ISO file for another PC so we'll just select yes and we'll click next here you will have to select the language version so you can go through and find your own native language and here here the edition it's Windows 10 and here the architecture you have 64 bit or 32 bit if you select that you want both then you will need a bigger space in terms of flash drive or DVD and you will also need longer time to have it downloaded so we'll just stick to 64 and we'll click next here you have the option to burn it straight to USB flash drive and you need at least 8 gigabit and here you have the ISO file to be downloaded so from here if you want you can just click ISO file and you will click next and you will get a download you will have to select a space where you want to save it so that as you can see ISO file so I will just name it Windows 10 64 bit and it will click save and it will start on going here you see the progress and you will have just to wait for a few minutes up to 15 20 minutes maximum depending on your computer speed and also on your internet speed and then it should be done I will stop the video here and as soon as it's finished we will continue now the Windows 10 has been downloaded the ISO file now I, I can burn it in a DVD or on a flash drive for each you will need a software so for a DVD you will need a software to burn it and there is many of them which are free and open source and also to burn it into a USB you will need a software which is also available for free and you can download it uh, from the websites online so now to be able to make an installation of Windows 10 from a USB you have to burn that ISO file which you have downloaded into a USB flash drive so that we can perform our installation we'll go on we'll go to our browser and we will type Rufus and we will download this small software it is it is totally for free and open source and we will just select Rufus 3.1 the latest version and we'll just save it 
after it's being downloaded we will just open it windows will ask you if you want to run that software you will just click yes and from here we will start performing uh, bur or burning or setting up windows 10 iso file to our usb so make sure that you have a, f um, a flash drive or usb stick or a sd card which has more than 8 giga bit so that there is enough space for performing this action so here we will have to select the correct USB flash drive so we'll go to our PC so here we have that our USB drive is under the letter E and it has 14 giga so it's fine we'll just come here and select no labels 16 gigabit here you will have to select boot selection disk or ISO image so we'll select this one and we'll click select and we'll search for our ISO file which is this one in the place where we have saved it now it's fine so now that we have selected we can just go to volume label and we'll just name it Windows 10 64 bit and we'll just click start here you will be you will be informed that there is going to be a, for, a format performed on your USB which means that all the data which has been stored in that USB or flash drive will be deleted so we'll just click OK and we'll just wait this action might take between 5 to maximum 10 minutes and after that you have a USB flash drive ready to make an installation from it so I will just stop the video here and as soon as this action is finished we will continue from there. Now the system has finished setting up Windows 10 in the USB key. We will open our PC to check and as you can see here our USB is ready and there is 11 giga B3 out of 14. So basically the system has used only few gigabit to make the to set up the Windows 10. Let's open it and here we have the setup and we can just click on it just to test it we'll have to wait a little bit so that a small window will appear and there we go Windows 10 has been set up on the USB and it seems working fine now you can use this USB for making a clean installation a format or even repairing your computer